Good evening, Tigers. It is Tuck in Tuesday, and tonight I'm going to read I Won, I Wanna Iguana by Karen Kaufman Orloff and David Cartro. I Wanna Iguana. Dear Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mikey Gooligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky and Stinky's dog, Lurch, will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate, but I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Nice try, though. Love, Mom. That's about what my letter would be to my kid. See, dear mom, did you know that iguanas are really quiet and they're cute too? I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Love your adorable son, Alex. Dear Alex, tarantulas are quiet too, but I wouldn't want those, one of those as a pet. By the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. Just thought I'd mention that. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, he's gonna really try this, isn't he? You would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. Plus, he's so small, I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You won't have enough space in your whole room for that, much less on your dresser with or without the trophies. Love, Mom. <laughs> Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me I'll be married by then and probably will be living in my own house. Love, your smart and mature kid, Alex. <laughs> Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? Love, your concerned mother. Dear mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother I've always wanted. Love your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. <laughs> Love, mom. <laughs> Dear mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. What fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class fish? Love, Mom. Oh boy. It looks empty. Dear Mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I never would have taken off the lid of the jar. Love, your son who has learned his lesson. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, let's say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, Mom. Uh-oh, looks like she's starting to get a little. Dear Mom, I would feed him every day. He eats lettuce. And I would make sure he had enough water and I would clean his cage when it got messy. Love, responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Do you know what that means? Let's see if she explains it. Dear Alex, a trial basis means dad and I will see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide that if you can have him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, you're in trouble. 
Dear Mom, I really, 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 really try to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyway? Love, Alex the Financial Wizard. He's very persuasive. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom, I want an iguana. Please, 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 please. He is, he's cute. Oh, well, that's hard to say no to. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. Hmm. I am noticing on his dresser. Ah, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! He did a really good job at persuading his mom through his letters and persuasive writing. Now, before you go to bed tonight, there's a couple things I need you to do. The first thing is, is go on to Flipgrid and respond using the code at the end of this video. Also, go on to Reading Counts and take the quiz so you can get points. Remember, every Reading Counts point is also a house point. Have a great night, Tigers.